of other things we've bought, we've never bought bottles. Oh. So, is there any Canadians in the crowd today? No. North Dakota. Close. Uh, close. We're North okay. Dakota. <laughs> well, I'm from Saskatchewan. I know North Dakota like the back of my hand mm. almost. Um, the middle palette out here that we see is Canadian. We dug up there when we would go on vacation. The rest of them are U.S., basically western Arizona is where we dug. Oh. We dug this railroad track over here. It was put in the 1880s. We dug from Yuma to Maricopa okay. along oh, this track. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've dug all the yeah. mining camps around yeah. here, some of the bigger mining camps like Jerome and Oatman and Gold Road and Chloride. Uh, we also dug up along the river. This is the Gila River that runs through the middle of our, our valley here. Mm -hmm. And this, of course, was an early uh, wagon trail through here. So we dug all across this, all the way up here, uh, heck and gone, beyond Gila Bend in the, uh, the Gila River. We've poked around in homesteads and old places that are up along through there. Mm -hmm. So that's where our bottle digging, our bottle collection basically came from. Wow. Out here, this stuff that's on the front patio, or out here on the front lawn, I, I call this my lawn or garden, <laughs> mm -hmm. these came from the same place. Uh, not the wrenches that are laying here, but all this stuff that's out there in the sand came from digging. Oh. We would pick this stuff up, you know, when we were doing that kind of work. Now, before I get any further with this, I like to talk about an item I have here. Most people don't have never had any experience with anything like this. But this is a rope maker. This is for making oh. rope. Oh. This one here will make a three-strand rope. Hanging on the end of this great big scale on the end of the porch here is, is a piece of rope that we made. That piece of rope is a four-strand rope, and when we come to my tack room, I have the four-strand maker that made that rope. Different. Yeah, so this is something that a lot of people don't realize the even was around. This is for connecting the end of the rope when you get done. Somebody had painted this for some reason or other when we go over there with stuff. And oh. when we first started out, we were just a small group of people, and we uh -huh. made the rope over there. Oh. So we made a lot, a lot of rope for a yeah. lot of years, and then he came along. So that was fine, because we had other things we could be doing, yeah. you know, besides that. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, are we going to walk out where the bottles are? I'll um, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to walk through my building. It's for cutting ice on a pond. If and when you cut ice on a pond for storage to, to sell, uh, you cut, you score it just like you do glass, and then you have to break it off. So the handle thing that's got the round handle on it there laying against the handles there, that thing, is the pick to pick the ice blocks off of the oh. ice flow once oh. you've scored it. Oh. What is this little guy here? It says, put this next to head. Oh, this. This is a, for cutting horns on cattle. Dehorn. Oh. There's, oh. This is a small one here, and this is a large one for larger horns. Oh. Hmm. I worked in two different feedlots here. Hmm late 60s, early 70s, oh. because we, no, late 60s, early 70s. We moved here in 70s, so a little bit maybe in the 70s. And we had a, a dehorner that was, in the pens where we worked, had a dehorner that was electric and looked like a, cha like a, skill, uh, like a skill saw. And you drop, it had a hole in it like this, and you drop that over the horn, it had blades on it, and you press the button and it, boop, and the horn was gone. Oh. This thing is quite a process. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, you got to have that animal tied down, and you're going to have to somebody has got lots of strength to cut that horn off. Oh. Inside her home with the glass collection. These are butter tools.
For three years, Arizona had copper license. This is her collection of miniature baskets. This is her collection of Indian artifacts. This is her bedroom. Her condom collection. Baby shoes with a transparent toe. Paper quarters. I rode one just like that. 